Hello and welcome back to Capes of Cud. We had a pretty eventful episode last time. Hey, is the turret done? Dead? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I'm pretty sure the turret died, which means I can't hand in that, uh, I can't hand in the actual, like, are we still not okay? We're still not okay. Oh, that sucks. Um, Vivira got destroyed. Well, that's really, really unfortunate. Um, that means we can't hand in the Mopengo quest now. And unfortunately, the Mopengo are, like, shooting stuff at me. Which is not a good thing to do to someone who can divert bullets back at you. Okay, we're gonna... What are we gonna do? We're gonna Temporal Fugue. And I'm just gonna let my, uh... Oh... My, my clones just hit a Mapango directly, which means we're now not on good terms with the Mapango again, right? Okay, we're- it was just that one Mapango for some reason. We just got some weirdo stuff. We didn't get the we didn't get the- oh, we don't have the high voltage arc anymore. Arc winder. Damn it. That really was a really, really good generation and I completely messed it up and I'm- I'm just really annoyed with myself for- for having done- done that. No need to give me a hard time. I'm- I'm already- I'm already cheesed about it. Uh, okay, well, that's fine. Um, at least we still get the, you know, found the- the- the K gone and on. Opens the door. Uh, let's go over here. Why are we hitting- is this the warden? I don't know what this- what this Mopango is. Oh, they're engaged. Um, I don't want to... Alright, I guess I will help them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help fight the- fight off this gibbon. Alright, how are you doing? I seek a use for this repulsive device. Thou hast an object of great interest, and thou wouldst allow I'd fain commune with it. Uh, sure, I would. It moves little during communion, but shivers and twitches from time to time after a minute or so. He returns the device to you. I am shaken, no doubt my journey. Va wa wast shallow compared to Le Ba's dive. But now, by my troth, I say, Ka, ka hath have ever been a being of motion, swift, kinetic, and elegant, no doubt. T'would be so if freed by yon device. We'll see. Well, I mean, that's cool and all, except for the fact that I already killed Ka. Um, I wouldn't have killed Ka except for the fact that Ka was n making enemies to the rest of you. I recovered a repulsive device. It appears of similar make to the children, and I believe its jaw seeketh them. Leba claimeth that the device grants freedom, and I wonder what that freedom will look like. Perhaps thou shouldest speak to the watchers of the children for further insight. Where's Leba? I sure hope Leba's not dead. Okay, there's there's Leba. A lot of really nasty things happened. Look, Leba, I have recovered the repulsive device. Yelps at the sight of the device curling into an armored ball. Leba, you received no reply. Probably not in good taste for me to show them the repulsive device since they kind of warned me of its of its uh, nature. So, um, you know, might seem weird, but I'm sorry to Leba for having done that, but. Oh well. It is it is what it is. I, I didn't mean it maliciously. So, um we we since we unfortunately killed one of the, the, the four beings, uh we instead have to go and find the th one of the three others. They are upstairs. So, you know. We're gonna we're gonna have to go upstairs to the garden. I want to collect all this trash. There's a lot of trash in the Tomb of the Eaters. And we do get quite a bit of secrets. And, you know, secrets are eventually going to be useful to us. Is there anything over here? There, There is the staircase. Um, 80 turns. We should be able to make it. Oh, there's a... There's a... 
Slimo from the Rainbow Wood. I wonder what they are doing here. That was weird. You're famished. And inspired, so let's make a meal. Um, again, I'm sorry, I'm going to be trying to make some uh, delicious business here. Star Apple Jam and Vine Wafer Sheaf. Uh, none of these. None of those are useful to me. Dang. Well, now this is not fair. Does it shoot right in front of the door? Okay. There's some grave moss I can harvest there. So, um, different generation now. Things are going to be a bit different. I'm not sure if I'm going to have the same access to that object I was trying to get to. But I do see it there, so I, I might be wrong about that. Uh, I think I was covered in plasma when I got hit there, so that's not necessarily great. We'll deactivate this. I'm not going to bother with the other one. Especially, I mean, like, if if uh, if it's the same business is true as last time, and it's like, is that a data disk? Chiral rings. Wow. Oh, I don't know where that came from. File of one dram of neutron flux. What? What is that? Oh, I think maybe these things like pull stuff out of our inventory. I feel like that's got to be true because um, those were both things in our inventory. Okay, deactivate these. And uh, unfortunately, there's a thing, a trap right in front of this one, so we're gonna. I'm gonna break down. Actually, I don't think we need to do that. We can just sneak behind it. This time we got a gas tumbler, which I will disassemble immediately. My uh, my rest button is still not working. I'm not sure why. I have no idea why. So I guess I am going to make an effort to go to the other one. Because it might be different generation, right? So it might be a bit easier. I'm not seeing anything there. Oh, there, there it is. I guess we don't need to turn off the fusion generator. <laughs> we have a Kyakuka recoiler with a thermoelectric cell. That is a truly bizarre. Okay, not the worst second floor of Tomb of the Eaters I've ever seen. Could be could be far worse. This place is basically like Golgotha with lava. Like to second floor of of a tomb. Ah, damn it, I didn't make it. Yeah, it's second floor of Tomb of the Eaters is is one of the worst dungeon floors. I think I'd still take it over Rainbow Wood because Rainbow Wood is just like chaos. Pure chaos. Um, hmm. This isn't good. Okay, can we. I did, apparently, I did not collect this thing over here, and this is a Nano Near animator. And at the very least, that is uh, a AI micro. Um, microprocessor. Okay. You can't... These, um... Oh. <laughs> Those treadmills can be good. Oh, this is gonna... Okay, we're gonna have to sprint. I really should be running through this whole thing because I, I don't really have enough time to be fritzing with enemies. Nice. Wait, did we just get crushed? It kind of looked like we did. What is that over there also? 
Matter crushed ashes. Well, there's some there's some jam as well. Is that my jam? I feel like these things like to steal from me. And I'm not a fan of that. Trying to deal with this. Yeah, they, they, they seem to like to take my stuff. Oh God. These uh, these fans are really cheesing me off actually. Okay, deactivate this. I have 180 turns to uh, figure this this tile, this, this screen out. Precinct Navigator, that's actually decent and I don't have that. I, I want to get whatever this business is back. Okay, what is it? Oh, Spine Fruit Jam, okay. No, don't die again. There is no uh, warning. They're supposed to warn you if you're about to get crushed. Damn it. Wow. This is more times I've died to the Tomb of the Eaters than ever before. And it's on a role play mode and I'm over leveled for the zone. Can't believe it right now. That means that we're gonna have yet another generation. Maybe we can hand in the quest this time at least. I can't, I, I really, like, it's blowing my mind how much I'm getting completely destroyed by Tomb. I'm not, not really happy about it, if I'm being honest. Okay, well, we, we had this before. On the second generation. Still, this floor might be different again. Uh, I'm gonna not spend as much time collecting trash. I keep expecting this to be the last time I, I'm on this floor. Yeah, we didn't have bookcases, so this is yet another different generation. I just want to get to the Mopango. Okay, that is that an interdimensional creature? Pan humor. I don't think we had a pan humor. I can't believe pan humor is considered trivial to me. Um, so Vivian has died again. That really sucks. Man, this is this has been really brutal. Why are we on bad terms with the Mapango again? <laughs> this is really frustrating. <laughs> like, I we had the perfect generation of Tomb of the Eaters and then I go ahead and die by jumping down a chute and now every single time I've come down here it's been a nightmare. Really frustrating honestly. There's Kay Ganon on. <sighs> yeah I mean if you can't tell I'm, I'm, I'm getting kind of cheesed. Because this is like Again, I'm having to do this, and for some reason the Mapango are pissed at me. I haven't done anything to them. Literally nothing. So, I, it almost suits me to just, like, die. Um, choose a random name by, based on K. Gananon's culture. So what do we have this time from K. Gananon? Well, we have Spray Brain. Um, sleet beard gland pace, which is actually good because we that I have a Betel quest that I can hand in with that. Uh, we have an Eigen pistol with a thermo and electric cell, a full one, mind you. So all of that is nice. Um, you know we're not okay with Mapango. We're gonna have to come back to get the actual quest from them later. I wonder if K uh, Ka is on this floor. Okay, that's a different creature. What is that? Vam, overlapping arches of glossy shell huddled into an impenetrable hemi-ovoid, traveling slowly on an inadequate series of brush-shaped appendages. 
The surest way to tell which way the simple body faces is by the cross of light shining faintly from its front plate. Um, faint voices speak from within the dome being too distant sounding to comprehend. That's, that's a creepy one. So Vam, or Vam is here, Ka is not. And we have a mad pole. This has been, oh God, memory eater. This has been a kind of a awful tomb for having nasty creatures. Uh, why are we not okay with dogs? There's been some really funky things going on with the, the um, reputation. It might honestly be my spacer pistol. It might be an angering people. Uh, let's try again to make our food. We are inspired after all. Even if I get it, I'm probably just gonna die again to something stupid. Uh, whenever you drink water. I feel like these are all the same because the recipe generations are annoyingly um, the same. Like, you're gonna get the same recipes even if the generation of the tomb is completely different. So the next uh, recipe I make is also not going to be what I want. Pretty sure this is the floor with um, the, the staircase. I am going to go talk to the Mopango pretty soon, but I just want to confirm or not if this is the staircase floor. Well, it, I thought it was going to be in there, but it wasn't, so... What we could do are, is give ourselves burrowing claws and then just make our own staircase up, like pretty much where we need to be. That could be a pretty effective way to, like, skip half of the tomb. Kind of want to do that, honestly. And I don't feel bad either. The tomb has been rough to me. It's been, it's been pretty nasty. So there's the staircase. So it is on the, the right, the rightmost part of the folk, folk catacombs. But, uh, we're not doing that. I am instead going to go and talk to the Mopango. Hopefully they're not angry um, at me anymore. Okay, we're good. We're on good terms now. Um, let's talk. You know about the tomb from Wondrous and Profane. Leba, accept the quest. Let's go talk to Leba. Where are you, Leba? Every time I get to this part, and of course, of course I'm gonna get t teleported now. Um, every time I try and look for Leba, I don't see them, and I, I worry that they've get, been killed, um, and that I can no longer complete the quest. One of these times, that will be true. We have 200 turns to find Leba. We have 140 turns to find Leba. Where are you, Leba? 120 turns. Where where are you? I swear to God, if you've died this time, I'm gonna be really annoyed. There you are. Okay. Tells me you found a kind of repulsive device. What was so bad about the device? Complete the quest. Oh, do you mean this thing? <laughs> Uh, all right, so um, yeah, uh, that was again unkind, but I think it's funny that there was a uh, option. Like, oh, you mean this? This thing that you hate? Yes, that's the thing I hate. Why are you showing it to me? Um, is it in tools? Like, what is this thing? Miscellaneous? Yeah, repulsive device. I just wondered if I have to look at it again or something. It is approximately the size and heft of a human infant. This shiny black device's shape is more akin to a fetus torn early from the womb. Its surface is slick and warm with a pale pulse breathing somewhere underneath its pitch black skin. At the end of its tail is an orifice studded with hooked teeth, eternally 
questing for an anchor point that it never finds. Uh, this thing really is disgusting. That's like the one of the most graphic things I've ever read in Cud. Can't cook with hostiles nearby. You know, this uh, life sap can just like cheese off, honestly. Okay, so let's wait 60. I'm going to wait 70 turns because waiting rounds for some reason doesn't work. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cook. Cook from a recipe. Um, burrowing claws. And we're going to dig up. No, dig up, idiot. Um, let's go up here. I've been full Crete. Not sure. We're probably going to get tomb recalled. I don't know where we are right now. Oh, there we go. Aha. Cheatsy doodle. I don't have to do the annoying part to uh, Tomb of the Eaters. Ebon Fulcrete. Okay, we don't have to go there yet. Or at all, maybe. I don't know. So where am I? I'm not sure where I am. Vast animus, huh? I, I, I don't seem to be tomb tethered here. Oh, we have a Dromad caravan. Why are we ang- Okay. I just hope he doesn't burrow a channel in our brain. I don't know why we're why the dromad is angry. Did some it seems to be very strange things going on right now. I guess the geomagnetic disc would actually be a good idea right now, because it will just hit everything. <laughs> Regardless of whether or not I use the geomagnetic disc, the fact that I have it is a really good thing because my temporal clones will use it. And, like, my, honestly, the, the only reason I don't use it is because it's not very good damage. It's great crowd control, but it's not really great damage. Like, look at it. 2d6. That's fine. I don't think it has the ability to, um, critically hit something because its penetration will only ever match whatever it needs. Like, it, it, it it's only good enough to do damage. Right? Which is good. I mean, a lot of things have, uh, they're scary based on the fact that they have high AV. So they don't necessarily have a lot of health, they just have a very high AV, and doing any damage to them is a really good thing. However, um, that kind of, you know, it's still just basic damage um, to a lot of things, and that's, that's fine. I just don't think that it's as good as having a a weapon with very high penetration because you could still potentially critically hit um, a uh, you know an enemy we are fighting um, I guess I could have I could try and prosthetize a great salt back but I did that before and they didn't seem to do all that well great salt backs are supposed to be like absolutely amazing fighters and that's why they uh, tend to escort dromads but uh, I don't know. They might be might be a little bit overrated. Absolutely incredible things happening right now, I gotta say. Turns out burrowing, burrowing claws is a great way to cheese the Tomb of the Eaters. Could be to the Tomb of the Eaters that, uh, you know, flying and psychometry is to Golgotha. I don't know, like, I feel like, I think I am tethered here. I just don't want to end up in a situation where I, I get, like, recalled. Just going to wait for everything to kind of die down. I think everything is dead. 
plasma seems to be seems to do damage to a lot of things. Take a painted mag hammer. So I don't know. I don't know where the dromad stuff. Electrified staff. There was some some goodies, not a lot. Hmm. Wait, what was that? Oh, great salt back corpse. Forty thousand pounds. Wow. So, is this the next floor? I, I'm really lost right now. Oh, wait a minute. This is uh, where we came in. Yeah, this is the entrance. So, how do we... We didn't cheese the Tomb of the Eaters at all. Maybe I have to... Do I have to, like, go north? Here? Maybe you can't cheese the Tomb of the Eaters. Maybe they thought of that. Uh, are we hungry? <laughs> I really don't know what's going on right now. I'm like doing some some weirdo stuff. I've you know that you just you don't really necessarily want to do this. <laughs> Too many. I'm, I'm very much ruining the mystique of uh, of the tomb right now. Cook from a recipe. Let's do let's do some more burrowing claws business here. I'm I'm kind of curious. I mean, I could just like you know go up. Is again, like I don't necessarily have to find the entrance to the next part of the uh, tomb. Can't excavate to the sky. Oh, that's interesting. Spindle channel. We're we're in a spindle part. Is this, is this too far? Hmm. I don't, yeah, I don't know where I'm going. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh, let's just do it normally. I, I hate that because I, the, the upstairs has killed me twice now. Once to my own stupid, stupidity, of course, but. Uh, that doesn't mean I have to like it. Okay, so there, uh, I think there's a staircase on this floor. Maybe. No staircase. All right. Uh, oh, a mimic. Mimic still give me some XP. That's amazing. Oh, we have missile launchers. Oh, good. Okay, we're doing pretty good hitting them. Um, I don't know why we have primordial slimes here. We, there's all kinds of weirdo stuff happening in the tomb and I'm not really pleased about a lot of it. I don't have to be either. We're gonna get recalled in 20 turns. Oh, there's a, there's a rocket turret tinker. That's what's going on. Okay, we got recalled, and that's actually totally fine with me. Oh, God. I wonder if I have to go downstairs. I wonder what is downstairs. What is down? Uh, subterranean banana grove. Okay, nothing cool. Um, so why don't we try going over here and digging up? I don't understand. I know that I have to go upstairs, right? Like, that just makes sense. 
there's a there's a rocket turret somewhere. Oh, there's the uh, bone worm. Okay, amazing. So we got bone worm corpse. Do I do I not have um? I have to have butchering on. Where's butcher? Where are you, butcher? Butcher corpse off. There we go. Compacted bone matter. That's what we need. Wow. We just killed a pan humor like it was nothing. Oh, there's another uh, another bone worm. Amazing. That's what we need to make that uh, have have the AI, uh, AV damage stuff. So, I don't know. Tomb of the Eaters is being like a heck of a bastard. If I'm being, uh, you know, really honest right now, to me, it's it's, you know, to be fair, I'm trying to cheese it. I, I understand that I am trying to cheese the tomb right now, and so that's probably, uh, you know, I, I get what I deserve in a way. But that doesn't mean uh, I have to be happy about it. I just want to find the staircase. Okay, I haven't been on this floor yet, and we, we're getting more bone worms, and I'm actually pretty happy about that. Is this a... Oh, this is an actual person. Huh. Oh, we have a dervish. I don't know why the dervish didn't attack us. Oh, they're not... Are they just a guardian? Death Pilgrim of the Cult of the Coiled Lamb. Oh, I see. They're, uh, they're a follower. That was a dynamic tur turret tinker, so I'm going to go ahead and let them do their, their business. I don't know what... Okay, there's the staircase, finally. Surrounded by Mopango. Tomb of the Eaters really is um, not, not cool right now. Like, too, it, it just has no chill. Not that it tends to, you know, but... Yeah, I thought we'd go upstairs again. Okay. Swell with the inspiration to cook a mouth-watering meal. So what I might do is try going upstairs now. We'll, we'll kill all of this stuff. We're also inspired, so I might want to try and cook a meal. I don't want these, I don't want to fight these things, because they, they tend to take my stuff. Okay. I'm just like doing a little bit of movement so that our spacer pistol reloads. So we're hungry, unfortunately that means that we can't, we don't have our burrowing claws again, so why don't we go ahead and cook again? You might hear some uh, raining in the background because it is raining here in Toronto. All right, so let's go ahead and dig up. Oh, that was that was down. Can't excavate to the sky. They they really figured it out. You can't actually cheese the tomb of the eaters. Um, you know, which I guess is good. I'm I'm kind of glad that I don't I didn't like just kind of figure out how to beat the Tomb of the Eaters without any effort. You know, I am glad. Does it sound like I'm glad? Cause I am. Um. Okay, I'm not doing a great job of dodging these traps. I'm a little bit worried that. Uh, if I don't like hurry up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get recalled. There's another mad pole. I don't know what the deal is with the mad poles right now. I'm just gonna try and avoid the crushers. I was trying to be all cool and uh, dodging the crushers by timing it, but that did not work out last time, did it? So we're gonna be. Uh, a nerd and and just kind of go behind them sneak behind them is that a beetle oh no it's just a lot of destroyed stuff what is happening on this floor 
Uh, I don't know how long we have. These spacer pistols, I gotta say, are not really turning out to be, you know, all that they're cracked up. I really regret losing that arc winder. I'm guessing that this turns into lava, yeah. We're actually okay with that. Is that in a goal fly? A goal... a goals Um, we're cool with the, the, um, pilgrims. Or, sorry, the, the, the Gersh, but also, I guess, the Cult of the Coiled Lamb. Wondering, we can collect this liquid. We can't collect all of it, though. So what we're gonna do is, I have a, um, thermoelectric cell somewhere, right? I wonder if we don't, actually. Might be that we don't, because that was in a previous universe, if that makes sense. So instead, let's just make a thermoelectric cell and collect all this lava. And that way I don't have to, can't tinker with hostiles nearby. You just uh, go in the extra mile today, tomb, aren't you? All right, thermoelectric cell. And now we t collect this liquid and now we can safely travel through here. Lava is one of the few things that can really mess you up. Okay, we're, we've made enemies to everyone here. Didn't mean to. Seems to take two turns, oh god. All right, we're gonna herbary up. I, I do not want to die again. I don't know how long we have, but I suspect not long. What does deactivate Astronus? What is that? <laughs> um, we're gonna flurry them and conk them and demolish them. Permastun. Oh, that was it. They were a legendary. Reputation with the cult of the coiled lamb has decreased. Oh, my reputation with the seekers of the sightless way has increased. Interesting. I think I'm willing to, uh, you know, have that. Okay, we have more lava. Uh, I'm gonna need to make another thermoelectric cell here. In a way, I mean, this is kind of cheesing, um... Gol- uh, <laughs> not Golgotha. This is cheesing a Tomb of the Eaters as well. Like, you're not- you're- th the reason these things have lava in them is because you're not supposed to avoid them like this. Okay. I think I'm okay. I think we are finally good. Didn't mean to do that. All right, so what is all this stuff? Just ashes and bone and stuff? We have urn duster. I think they're cool with us. All right, well, we, we made it. I really don't understand the geography of, or, you know, like the, the, the kind of um, 3D nature of the Tomb of the Eaters because I swear to God I was trying to dig up into here and I was not succeeding. I guess that's really just it is I was not succeeding. So let's go ahead and wait some time because we are we are pretty damaged and I'm going to be giving um, the repulsive device to someone and I'm going to be making a note in real life, a real life note of who I'm giving it to because I have to give the repulsive device to all three of them. There is a way to cheese this. I don't know how you feel about this as the as a viewer, um, but if I was to try and get precognition, for instance, if I s traded in four mutation points, um, then I could give all the, the repulsive device to all four creatures and get the achievement. Also, similarly, could get all f six Sultan masks and um, get that achievement in one run. I don't know how I feel about that. And also I don't know how, like, you know, I would just have to hope that I get mutation, um, precognition. It's it's a really, like, it's really random if I'm, if I'm to get that. Also, I need like three more mutation points and I'm pretty sure I would not get that. 
anytime soon. So, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of elements involved there and I don't I don't see them as really kind of lining up unless I was to get absurdly lucky. But anyway, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time. We're going to continue with the tomb in the next episode and uh eventually we'll make it to the top and then uh we won't uh, we won't necessarily hand in like we, we're, we're not gonna like finish the game as it is um but you know it's it's good to just kind of get this out of the way and it also gives me some you know useful trinkets like bone matter and uh other nice uh gadgets and stuff so maybe we'll get lucky and get another uh high voltage arc winder anyway i'll see you guys next time take it easy Let's <laughs> go.